time for Creative Futures, and this morning we are joined by a woman who wants to make sure creating art is available to everyone. We are happy to have Hartford resident Gabby Barnes from the Free Heart Closet. Good morning, Gabby. Good morning. Thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, so we've got a lot to get to. So for people who are not familiar with the Free Heart Closet, tell me a little bit about what you guys do. Sure. Free Heart Closet is a uh, free art supply shop. So essentially we have high quality new and gently used art supplies that are donated to us from the community. And we set them up just like a store and people come in and they go shopping for the art supplies, but there's no cash register and we exchange no money. Oh, awesome, awesome. So how did you come up with this idea? <laughs> uh, so in the middle of the pandemic, I was hoarding hobbies. I call myself a hobby hoarder. Uh, <laughs> and I found, you know, I would try some things and uh, find that I was not very good at it mm -hmm. or that I didn't really enjoy it. Um, and then I was scrolling on TikTok and I came across a woman named Claire who runs an art um, collective in Sacramento called Broadroom. And she was showing off her free art supply closet. And I was like, wait a minute, we could totally do this in Connecticut. I've got a ton of supplies in my closet. I know a lot of people have supplies in their closet. And our supplies are expensive. The startup they costs, are. they can be upwards of $150 just to get started on a project mm -hmm. that you might not even end up liking. <laughs> and think about, you know, art students, right, who are full-time in art school, um, maybe not working a job or working part-time. $150 on supplies is yeah. a lot of money. Um, so why not leverage all of these supplies that we have sitting in our attics and our basements and our garages right. um, and put them all in one place where people can come and access them as they need them and keep that supply going. Um, it's also a little bit of an interrogation of, you know, overconsumption, right? We have so many things Things we're constantly buying um, and we can slow down and we can take advantage of what's already out there you know mm -hmm. if someone used a small little bit of paint um, it's still good usable paint yeah right I love that. I picked up painting during the pandemic. Like you said, <laughs> you don't always love, you know, what you come up with, but um, I found it to be very therapeutic. So I, I, I imagine that this is incredible for the people who have received uh, the supplies. Um, speaking about that, just tell me more about the feedback from the community, the people who are being helped through this program. Yeah, we have had art teachers, art students, professional artists, um, children, high school students, so many different types of people. Uh, one woman who uses art to deal with her post-traumatic stress disorder, she came in and was able to get some supplies for a class that she was taking. Um, we've had um, I, I, pretty much just everyone who comes to the closet to shop on their way out, they say to me, Thank you so much for making this available. Um, and, you know, I ask folks to share the artwork if they're interested, and a couple folks have done that. Um, and the things that people are creating are beautiful, and it's just, it makes me feel, um, it makes me really understand that this project is necessary. Mm -hmm. You think about art supplies and you think about art in general, and sometimes it can be, um, it can fall to the wayside. It can be mm -hmm. considered non-essential. Right. Um, and I really truly believe that art, just like food, shelter, um, you know, water, safety, art is core to our, our being as humans. Um, without art, right, what would we have? Right, um, absolutely. And so having access to the things that make us um, creative and allow us to express ourselves is that's a human right um, and having access to those things is just something I'm trying to make a yeah. little bit easier. Well I'm sure the community appreciates your work now we do have to head out but really quickly uh, let people know how they can get in contact with you all as you all are looking for a new home and uh, you might need some volunteers. Yes uh, you can reach us on Instagram at Free Heart Closet. Uh, you can go to our website, freeheart.org, and we are crowdfunding in both of those places. You can find the link, bit.ly slash freeheart. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And good luck. Thank Hopefully you. Hopefully we get an outpouring of support from the community.